Oh, welcome back. We're still in the Elven Sanctuary and on our way to meet Alexander. What a structure! There might be nothing left like this in the world. Not since Lucian used the Death Fog on the Elves. Uh, another listener priest. They don't have to say much. Elven High Priestess. Now, who are you? Godwoken, the Mother Tree calls you. Follow the spirit. Climb to the heart of the tree. The mother awaits. Ah, so yeah, that's the mother tree what? calls you, Godwin. Yeah, I want to see what's going on over here. I am at the ready. Magisters, lower your weapons. Gareth, listen to me. I have heard enough. Gareth, your words mean nothing to me, Alexander. Protect the bishop, no matter the cost. I am at the ready. Magisters, lower your weapons. They are all named around Garrett, here. Listen to me. Okay, that's just repeating. I, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, your words mean nothing to me. Alex. Let's see what's going on over here. Protect the bishop, no matter the cost. I will have your head, seeker. Be at ease, Magister Row. Weapons down, Gareth. I have done you a grave injustice. I was deceived, and I was too weak, too naive to see it. Alexander holds his hands outwards towards Gareth, his blade resting flat across his palms. A gesture of goodwill and peace. What the hell is going on? Why do you still live, and why are you here, and why is Gareth here, and... What? Fellow at Alexander, he must explain himself. Whatever Alexander's reply might have been, it is drowned by Gareth's alarming chuckle. Godwoken, have you come to witness the death of the noble coward? How fortunate. You can tell the tale of Lucian's other wayward son. This slug defends his own cruelty on the basis of ignorance. He expects me to forgive him for everything he's taken from me. Every fallen seeker, every friend, every slain Godwoken. My own parents. He says this to me while their flesh still rots in the graves I dug for them. I've forgotten nothing. Alexander, you are the sinner. Yet the gods have allowed us to suffer for it. I would kill you a hundred times over if given the chance. Yeah, you need to calm the fuck down. I don't see how he is the key to this conflict. Screw Alexander. I'll kill him myself. But uh, still, uh, the point remains. Gareth needs to calm down. So urge... Gareth to calm. His cruelty is no less than Alexander's. He must overcome his rage. Ooh, needed 99, are you kidding me? Curious response from one who set me on this road. Curious and futile. You will die with the bishop you defend. Are you kidding? Yeah, okay, Gareth has lost it entirely. Well, this fuck you then. This is your end, Alexander. I strike in the name of your father. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not too sad about killing him really because he's he's completely mad. We screwed up by by riling him up, but yeah, he's he's just lost it completely. So whatever. Rose horse collar? Amulet? What the hell? Oh, it is an amulet fashioned out of a broken horse collar. Interesting. Yeah, that was... Here is this dad. We didn't choose to help Alexander, I just wanted him to calm down. Yeah, I'm... I don't know what to think about this, but... He attacked us, so... Yeah, he had it coming. Anyway, let's talk to Bishop Alexander. I still want to see him dead. A shrewd move to side with me like you did. Perhaps you have more guile than I give you credit for, sorcerer. We marked that the last you saw of him, he was in a coma about the Lady Vengeance. What happened? My destiny was unveiled to me in the Hall of Echoes, at last. I realized how Dallas had been sabotaging me all along. Ask how Dallas was sabotaging him. 
She had her accomplice, Vredeman, pose as someone who could train me how to master my godwoken powers. But it was a lie. They sought to hinder, not help. While I was being occupied by Vredeman, Dallas began taking over the order. I confronted them once I returned from the Hall of Echoes, and the pair of them tried to kill me. They must be Black Ring agents, tasked with preventing me from ascending. They won't succeed, though. I know what needs to be done, and I have good, loyal Magister and Paladin companions to help me see that it is done. Growl that he's already caused immeasurable suffering thanks to his program against sorcerers. He's not fit to be savior, not fit to be a divine. Wrong. That proves I am the only one who is worthy. I have to decide who lives and who dies for the sake of the greater good. That is what true power demands of you. Only I have the will, the strength to do what is necessary. And now that those traitors, Dallas and Friedemann, have no influence over me, the way forward is clear. What, what kind of answers are these? I want to kill him. Demand that he tell you what he knows about the council. Or what? Your threats carry no weight. Are you nuts? But you are desperate. That much is clear. Make yourself of use to me, and I shall help you unlock the council. You must strike down the one who leads the Black Ring on this island. That is my prize. Damn, I want to kill the one who leads the Black Ring on this island. But I also want to kill him. That's why he doesn't just get rid of the Black Ring's leader himself. Do you really think the future Divine should take such risks? Besides, you're the one seeking help. Perhaps you can put your murderous skills to I'm use not seeking for greater good. What the fuck is this dialogue? This is completely insane. I'm not interested. Perhaps. But I doubt you'll live long enough to find it. There's a price on your head wherever you go on this island, God Woken. Farewell. Yeah, I'm going to kill you right now. You're thinking the same thing. Alexander wants to be the new divine. Didn't that guy pretty much invent Fort Joy? Imagine him as the Divine. Over my dead body. Yep, that's uh, what I think too. So, uh, if I go up there, can I hit him from up here? I don't think so, right? Oh, I can. Right there. Yeah, I'd like to do this in a dialogue way. Maybe I can do it with Beast. A shrewd move. Decide with me like you did. I can't attack him. Through dialogue. So let me just kill him like that. Why not? Do we want to go where? Uh, what kind of opener do I want? Yeah, let's just go with a slowdown. Why not? I wonder what happens if we kill him here. Guess we're about to find out. Uh, can I one-shot you? I guess so, right? Would be able to. Uh, yeah, I can easily one-shot you. That's Alexander. Now, who's next? Magister Hughes, this guy. Uh, can I hit him? I cannot. Damn it. Well, whatever. Uh, let's kill this guy. And this guy. And this guy. What? Teleport. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Teleporting me over here. Oh, there's more. Oh. Didn't see that guy. Uh, so, how about we just... There they are. Wow. He has a lot of hit points and armor. 
Uh, does that deal more damage? Let's find out. I think it does. Now, can I kill this guy somehow? I absolutely can't. Well, there. Uh, maybe with this? No. Ah, let's do this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop teleporting me. Take you. There we go. Alright, my son is dead. Oh, and he's up here. Uh, Alexander Severs head. Yeah, we need that. Do not eat that. Do not eat that under any circumstances. Alright, let's check the quest log. An unlikely patron. Alexander's dead. We can no longer help him. <laughs> uh, nice. And the cellar man. Uh, Wait, what? Alexander is dead. We should retrieve his head and make contact with the cello man. And the mother tree. Let's see. Let's make contact with the cello man. A flat circle of polished black obsidian. The mirror is pretty, but now it's a mirror and nothing more. Yeah. We could have gotten the quest from the cello man to kill Alexander. But, yeah, whatever. All right. So, uh, oh, there's some more stuff down here. Let's explore that before we head to the mother's tree. The mother tree? The mother tree. We have the last forest tiger over here. Oh, I should check for the spirits up there, actually. I'll do that in a second. Let's talk to the last forest tiger. Eyes closed. The tiger seems to be praying. I am the last of my hide, my stripe, my streak. All of us but I fell dead in the mist when the two legs had their war. I pray to thee to bring us back to save us from our end. She cocks her head to listen to a voice you cannot hear. If the covenant be in good what? faith, oh black-winged god, and all the forest tigers shall return, then I shall accept your... Wait, tell her not to listen to the voice. She opens her eyes and turns to you. Or what? Shall you kill me with your fog of death like you did my cousins? This is our only chance to live. The leather covenant is a lie. It brings only death. 99? What the...? She closes her eyes. A low growl rises in her throat. <sighs> They all shall die, my king, and I shall start. She stares directly at you and bares her teeth. Well, that's about to be, uh... With the she-man. A she-man? I guess it means me. Well, yeah. So we are now <laughs> going to kill the last forest tiger. Well, whoop de doo That was really unnecessary. Why did you make me do that? And why can't I loot you? Damn it! Can't even loot you. Well, let's uh, talk to that spirit. The ghostly tiger bares her teeth at you, a triumphant glint in her eye. When the God King brings the forest tigers back and we rise to rule, you shall be the first to die! <laughs> a little crazy, this last forest For tiger. You there shall be no return. Shrug and consume the spirit sauce. I am the last of my hide, my stripe, my streak. You cannot take me, for I shall rise. You cannot take me, for I shall... She shall... nothing. <laughs> Oh, now I can loot her. Perfect. The leaves of the altar rustle, a gentle murmur on the breeze. 
You lean in, a sweet smell wafting around you, the smell of fresh wood, of blooming flowers, of a gentle summer's night. Breathe in, drawing that beautiful scent deep into you. The scent fills your mind and your vision starts to swim. You blink and find yourself standing in a dark glade. On the wind, you hear a whisper, God woken. You turn towards the voice and see the broken body of a fawn. A raven is perched upon its head, pecking at the gory hollow that once held its eye. You're about to turn away when the body twitches. God woken, it whispers. The raven turns its gore-streaked beak towards you. Its eyes are a deep bloody red. God woken. It croaks as it takes to the air, circling the glade. God woken. The fawn's breathing is shallow and ragged. I need to heal, it murmurs. Please, I need your life's energy, please. I need your blood. Yeah, I'm not gonna help the gods, so let my god do the work. You feel your god stirring. Ask it to intercede just once and spare you from the sacrifice. Your god emerges as a snake, slithering along the ground towards the fawn, where it coils around its neck. The fawn is thrown into a panic, struggles to its feet, and crashes through the undergrowth, where it falls again, landing broken in a stream, reflections of moonlight dancing all around it. Uh, now that I think about it, I should maybe not let that demon inside me kill all of the gods, or whatever it does. The snake returns with a satisfied hiss. But, as it slithers back, you feel a cold, heavy thump on your shoulder. You look up into the fierce red eyes of the raven. I see you, Godwoken, it croaks. I see you. The blood-flecked beak lunges at your eye, and you feel it. You feel it tear through the lid, Death. through the jelly, and crack against bone. You stumble back, grasping at your face. Your eyes are fine, but the altar is changed, with the crescent moon hacked into the wood. As you leave, you can't shake the dull, thudding ache in your eye. That was uh, uncomfortable. Okay, so Tirsten Dillis is a moon, apparently. Alright, let's check out the Mother Tree. Mother Tree seems to be a rather malignant being. Oh, wait a sec. Before I deal with the mother tree, let me look for ghosts. There must be ghosts around here of Alexander and of Gareth, maybe. Yep. Yep. Let's talk to Gareth first. What the hell has gotten into you? I know I chose right. Should Lucian snub me in the hall as you snubbed me in life, my pride is still mine. I am prepared for him to rebuke me. It is the price of loyalty. Yeah, I think I'll leave his spirit in a perpetual contemplation. Let's talk to Alexander. The spirit of Alexander looks bitterly dejected. He turns to you. My journey has ended, but the world still needs a divine, even if it's my murderer. That is actually very uh, sensible of you to say. Tell me. Have you learned how to enter the council yet? Scowl and say that's of no concern to him. But it is! Don't you see? It's the concern of the entire world. I have to know your intentions before I help you. What do you mean to do with the power of divinity if you succeed? Say that you'll do the right thing. You'll save the world with those powers, as you're supposed to. You will do, God Logan. Ralik, Vrogir, and Zolstissa favored the sun, while Duna, Tirsandilius, Zantetsa, and Amadia favored the moon. Align their idols thusly at the entrance to the council. Yeah, so he gives me the solution to the puzzle already, so we could now head to the council of the seven, which we haven't found yet, but it's somewhere on this island, shouldn't be too hard to find. And yeah, align the idols and poof, that's the way to go. Then there's the lever. It requires a great power source. I had one. Perhaps it's still with my remains. Otherwise, you must scour the island. Farewell, Godwoken. I hope you don't disappoint. Alright. 
So, we spoke with the spirit of Alexander. He told me that we should scout the island for the magic that will activate the lever that controls the entrance to the academy. Uh, he said he has it on his corpse, so presumably he is referring to... No idea what he is referring to, but... Spell Illusion. Ooh. Yeah, I need this one. A crown of True Sight. I don't need it for the lever, I believe, but I need it for something else. Uh, yeah, sure, anyway. Let's uh, go pay the mother tree a visit. It doesn't look all that imposing. Although I guess this whole thing is the mother tree. Well, maybe it's a little bit imposing. Let's see. We've got an elven scion and the heart of the mother tree. Anything else around here? Is this the heart of the tree? It is. I don't see what else it could be. It is quite literally a heart. And it's beating. Let's see what it wants. I am the scion of the mother tree. Her heart speaks through me. The mother asks you to help her. A lizard assassin stands near. A prince of shadows come to strike at the heart of the elves. He must die, this lizard as doombringer. And you must bring me his heart. Ask her to explain the shadow. The shadow prince is on this island, seeking our annihilation. We've heard about the shadow prince. He... Uh, what was it? We read some letter or something? Right. The shadow prince... Uh, Gave the lone wolf the contract on the Yelven signs. So he kind of hates elves or something. I don't know. He is the master of the House of Shadows. He is a terror that breathes. Please, cut off its breath and bring me its heart. I swear you can find the Shadow Prince. He is a lizard. No doubt he slithers close to the temple of his fork-tongued goddess, Zol Stissa. Okay. Sure, we can do that. The mother tree. The Elven Sign has bid us to kill the Shadow Prince. Yeah, sure, why not? Guess we'll do that anyway. Okay. So, I believe we are done here in the Elven Sanctuary. Let's see. Um, the Lunar Gate. Yeah, this is the Council of the Seven. And what else? That's the Shadow Prince. Of Maria. Yeah, we could actually enter it, but let's explore this island uh, before we do. Useless. Let's start. Yeah, we can have a look at the Council of Sam. Why not? So, let's go up here. Vision up, and what do we have here? A bunny and the Lunar Gate. White Punch Shrine. Alright, so we have the pillars for the different races, uh, which are, of course, different gods. Which one is Amadia then? Ah, the Wizard Pillar. And the Lever Lever, which we will have to. Activate with some kind of power. Let's talk to that bunny. The bunny gives you a dazed look, like she's not all there. Yeah, wow, what a shock, yeah. <laughs> Ask the rabbit if she's alright. Huh? What? Oh, hi. So, yeah, hey, here's the thing. Don't get too close to the sticky owl thing with the shape thing near the door. Thing's dangerous. What a shock. Uh, bye. Okay, we're not supposed to get near that. Eternal Conductor. Interesting. That's just a lamp. Alright, alright, alright. Interesting place. Let's see if there's anything to loot around here. Flowers. Oh, the Watcher. Who might you be? What's that? Dagger and snout. 
wolves with a gem, Arch Ruby. Well, we do know about a gem, and it is required to open the imp the world thingy. Uh, let's talk to the watcher. She is uh, friendly. So let's see. Looks like those black ring made a lethal enemy. Yeah, she fought off the black ring. You approach an undead standing proud at the lip of a broken bridge. Understandably fearless of the fatal drop, she gazes into the lava sputtering below. Turning to you, she motions to the black ring corpses at her feet. Good riddance to bad rubbish, eh? Only thing I like less than black ring are trolls. God woken, are you? Not, you are. I thought so. I see it on you like an aura. I see such things, for I am the Watcher. And I seek such things, for I am a seeker. Uh, ask if she's one of my Ceceva's people. The Meister! She bats one's skeletal hand in a truly derisive fashion. Her crackling laugh sounds like dry leaves whirling in the wind on an autumn night. <laughs> the Meister's ragtag band are but a pale imitation of the tradition they sought to revive. I am one of the original Seekers. We swore to be Knights of the Council, Guardians of Godwoken, and Defenders of Divinity. How would a skeletal uh, being that is living on the nameless isles in like nowhere know about my Saceva and Heraktek band? It's not like that's like news get around here, is it? Together, we failed. But still, I try. Alone. Unless... <laughs> Wait silently, one eyebrow raised. She sighs dramatically, exuding impatience. <laughs> the Knight of Duna has been cursed. Void runs through his veins where source once flowed. I am sworn to protect the Council and all within it. But that same oath renders me unable to lift a blade against him. Release the knight's good spirit from his corrupted shell, Godwoken. Do this, and I will gift you with the last standard of the original Seekers. If you seek ascension, it could help you greatly in the trials along the way. Um, sure. Say she can count on you to bring an end to the corrupted knight of Duna. My thanks. And the thanks of Duna's knights, too. In life, I knew him well. He would hate to be like this. Believe me, you would be releasing him from torment. Please do. Well, I intend to visit all of the temples, so I guess we'll uh, come across the knight of Duna, too. Now, uh, over here is actually the temple of Duna. So we might as well just do that right now. Did I just loot a purging mod? I did. I guess that's a way to deal with the Shriekers also. Alright, what do we have here? Bunch of bad purged corpses. Magisters. Not what they signed up for, I bet. Anything else? No. And again, there's an encampment that we did not deal with yet, so let's do that. It is Lizard Dreamer. The hell? Are they possessed? I don't know what's going on here. The wrongs of the seven shall be put right, thanks to the God King. Lizard Dreamer serving the God King? Well, there are black ring around here, so let's go ahead and kill them. Can I teleport up there? I can. What 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 are you doing, beast? <laughs> beast is just running up here. Okay, sure, why not? And yeah, we've got wordless and a bunch of quite a lot of uh, black ring. Now, Wordless, what do you do? Wordless Aura. Wordless does not speak, and today, <laughs> neither do you. Okay, that's interesting. 
Uh, sure, sure. So let's uh, kill her. Uh, do you want to buff up? We might as well. Although, let's take Anthony Invasion just in case. I don't want to die. Alright, we should be able to one-shot her, yeah, easily. Although, let's try a Marksman Fang, might kill... Yeah, it surely hits both of them. It surely kills both of them. <laughs> ah, this is way too easy. Can we hit you over there? Maybe if I go a little closer. Can I go a little closer? Oh, come on! Ah, oh, well, it's good enough. So, see ya. And... Yeah, sure. A normal hit should be fine for you, right? Right. And there's one more. Can we hit him? No. Can we hit him if I go over there? Yes. And these guys over here, we can hopefully... not hit. Let's see. Could get a little bit closer. Yeah, it's not enough. Oh, fine. Let's kill one of them then. Sure. Sure. Doesn't even get... What? You still live? Really? There we go. Level up! And... Wits! And... Warfare! And... Um... Lawmaster 2 is enough, I think. And a new talent also, that is really nice. Although I don't really need any more talents. But let's go with Picture of Health. Let's have a look at our health. We have 5,600 roughly. And oops, 6,500. Yeah, <laughs> that is pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good. Uh, you take Wits 2. And a Scoundrel. And. Um, doesn't really matter what you take, actually. The charm, I don't know. Whatever. And. Big and better. She could take Picture of Health too, actually. I could take four wits, but I don't really need that. I mean, I have enough initiative already, I think. So, could increase my range. That wouldn't be too bad. Let's see if this increases the range of um, arrows too. Let's see. It's up to the table. Yes, yes it does, but... Yeah, not, not too much. But sure, why not? Alright, let's do some looting. And while we're here, talk to the Tormented Magister. What are you doing here over here? Even though her tormentor is dead, the Magister is still paralyzed with fear. Her mind is gone. Mama! I want Mama! <laughs> Alright. Now over here we have a Blind Priestess of the Ring. Well, I'm very sorry to kill blind people, but I'm not so sorry to kill Black Ring. Not at all sorry. Blind Priestess of the Ring. He's got another mirror and a ghost. That's okay. The priestess holds her hand out to you and smiles. A smile to freeze the heart. A smile to set a forest all ablaze. A smile in which to gladly bleed to death. Take me. Ah, come on. I want to know where this is going. Take her, Ostrachen, knowing that she shall take you. 
Her hand slides into yours, and you are whisked away, far across the oceans and the forests and the mountains, to a city on a dusty plain. You're in an alleyway, dark and dank, and you wear a hood. You're ragged and dirty, twisted and bent. You move with a stooping sideways gait. Thirsty, while a shopkeeper's back is turned, you approach a barrel of water and bend to drink. You catch a glimpse of your own reflection. Your skin is discolored, your features deformed, your nose hooked. Sense a grip relaxing as if she wants to hide her shame. Hold her hand tighter that you might see more. Whack! The shopkeeper cuffs you about the head, shoves you away, and tells you to clear off. He calls you hag and crone and old witch, though you have only just reached maturity. You reach for the curved dagger hidden in your stinking robes. Wonder, as to the spirit, which of these things are true? Is she killer or thief? She laughs. A laugh like ringing bells. Both and none. You stab the shopkeeper in the heart and flee. You race through a maze of alleyways as behind you the alarm is raised. You hide in a darkened corner as the pursuing mob draws near and sense a presence behind you. You turn. A man's pale face floats high above you in the gloom. He smiles and offers you his long-fingered, long-nailed hand. You know this is the God King's sallow envoy. There is no choice to make. The sallow man, apparently. Oh. <laughs> take his hand or take his hand. You step from your hiding place as the mob goes racing by, crying murderous and witch and hag. None but the younger men give you a second glance. They give you a third glance and a fourth. You find a mirror in your pocket. You open it and stare into the black glass. The most beautiful woman you have ever seen looks back at you. You smile, and so does she. And you will remember the beauty of that smile until beyond your dying day, the last thing you ever saw before the veil came down, because now your sight is fading. Darkness descends, and quickly you are blind. Your other senses rise, and you hear and feel and smell the world. You are not lost. You shall never be lost again. I served the God King well. I shall return. No, you don't. I belong to the God King. I belong to the... Now you can forget her. She belongs to you at last. No, you... what? Just happened? Where did you stop? She seems to look right through you, that smile playing about her lips, terrifying in its beauty. The God King did all this and more for me. He can do the same for you. Join him. Do we consume her source now? I belong to the God King. I belong to the... Now you can forget her. She belongs to you at last. What the hell? You eat that? There we go. She's not coming back. Alright, so let's see. We've uh, made quite the mess around here. Stuff, more stuff, and more stuff. I like stuff. Uh, Black Ring Reaver doesn't have anything. Smoke grenade. Um, bottle of wine, sure, why not? That stuff. What's that? How this thing even moves, you do not know. Okay, let's see. Uh, there was a named character here. Uh, over there, wordless. What do you have? Uh, nothing but a black mirror. I have tons of these black mirrors already. I don't need any more. Okay. Yeah, that's the um, camp dealt with. So let's go check out Yuna's temple and free this poor knight of his. Now over here by the way, if you jump across all these ledge thingies uh, you find the back entrance to the council of the seven, which you do not want to enter. Unless you well, want to enter. Uh, let's go. All 
Alright, any ghosts around here? Nope. So, this is the entrance to Duna's temple. Beast should like that. It's the god of the dwarfs, after all. But, we'll explore that next time. Thanks for watching, and see you then.